Hey, what's up guys? David Stingray back here again on another Wicked Wednesday here on the House of Horror. Today I'm going to be reviewing the film Magic Magic from 2013. This, this was recently released on DVD and Blu-ray. And this film stars Juno Temple, Emily Browning, Catalina Marino, and uh, Michael Cera as a non-comedic role. The film is directed by Sebastian Silva and... Uh, pretty interesting about you know the uh, stars of this film. Michael Cera is you know pro primarily known as like the quirky, uh, quirky comedic role, uh, teen coming of age type movie. And you know I really thought that that his role in this movie would not be very effective, but uh, I think he did a good job in this movie. Uh, Juno Temple was uh, she was in a film I recently saw called The Brass Teapot, which I which I enjoyed. It's like a dark comedy. Uh, kind of interesting stuff going on and uh, Emily Browning plays Sarah in this movie and you probably recognize her from uh, she was the lead in Sucker Punch and she was also in the, the Tale of Two Sisters remake called The Uninvited and uh, she's a, a really good actress too uh, you know one to keep an eye on for future roles definitely going places and uh, yeah, this film, I'm going to be very brief about the plot synopsis so I don't spoil anything for you guys. Um, this is about a uh, young uh, young student who I, I think she may be a Spanish student, learning Spanish, travels to uh, Chile to uh, you know learn Spanish, talk, talk Spanish. They're, they're going to be taking a... Uh, you know, basically, uh, basically a trip across the country, and her cousin is already there. Uh, the main role is Juno Temple. Her name is Alicia, and her cousin is uh, Sarah, played by Emily Browning. And uh, Sarah has been there for a while, and you know has been there before, and she has she has friends there. So Alicia, Juno Temple's character, goes there, and uh, basically, you know, traveling across uh, the country with uh, her friends. And they get to a point where Sarah has to go back to uh, uh, Santiago, I think, wherever her, her studies are. She has to go back to take an exam, something like that. And uh, Alicia's character is stuck with the, you know, the friends and the people that she doesn't know very well. And one of these folks is played by Michael Sarah, who is another exchange student that kind of came out there and just stayed and never left. And he's a really, really odd uh, character, you know, a guy that you really never know exactly what his intentions are or what his plans are, why he's doing the things he's doing. Really, just a, a, a just an odd guy. And you know, you can you can tell there's some dark, you know, sadistic parts of his personality uh, as well. But uh, they go out to this uh, one area. It's like a like a cabin out, you know, in the middle of the forest and. Basically, things start going wrong with Alicia, and she starts seeing things, hearing things, and uh, the shit hits the fan from that point. And uh, I'll just go ahead and cut off the plot synopsis there, because that's pretty much the gist of it. You guys can kind of imagine what happens here. Um, this, this film, I think, had a lot of potential. I was really on board for the first three quarters, and it just lost me in the end. Uh, the ending just, just fell flat, in my opinion. I... I do like what they did with the ending. I like that they tried something that you may not normally see, but uh, it just it, it fell apart for me. I felt like it, it could have really, really been a uh, a good movie, which I think this is a watchable movie. I think it's one you may want to check out, but it did fall flat for me in the end. Uh, great acting, uh, great writing. The, uh, the actors do a great job. Michael Cera. Emily Browning and uh, Juno Temple all do a great job. Uh, I love seeing the uh, the uh, backgrounds of uh, Chile, and I like they they threw in some of the cultural aspects. You know, I'm not very familiar with that area of the world, so it was nice to see, you know, what the uh, the wildlife was like, and you know, lots of beautiful shots of the forest and stuff out there. And uh, actually, uh, Michael Cera was filmed another movie while waiting for this movie to get get filmed uh, to get financed they actually filmed another movie with the director called uh, Crystal Ferry and I'm looking forward to checking that one out as well I, I'm kind of a fan of Michael Cera you know a lot of people don't don't like his work but you know I've been a fan of the dude since he was you know 
uh, George Michael on uh, on Arrested Development. You know, way back when, back before it was brought back, I was a fan while it was actually still on uh, television. So I've been watching the guy's career for a while, and, and I think this was really a good move for him. I think that, you know, I had already had him typecast as, uh, you know, the quirky, you know, comedic young teenage dude who, you know, he probably never would have been anything else on my eyes had I not seen this movie. And I didn't think that it would have worked as well as it did, but he really did a good job. I think he's really got some uh, solid acting chops, and it's nice to see him come outside of his comfort zone and, you know, really a good good uh a good choice of him to do this movie and uh but yeah you know check it out you know if, if you guys have seen it let me know what you think as always and uh yeah i definitely recommend this one as a uh, for a for a rental you know maybe a red box or a netflix if you have one but uh i wouldn't pick it up unless you've seen it and uh yeah see you next time peace